Hello. Hello you. And welcome to a new video. What are we doing? We've had loads and loads of questions about our trip, which is at the end of May for 10 days into June. So we have talked about it in the home vlogs, but we thought we'd do a specific video on the trip. So this is for all of you who are really nosy. <laughs> we are. Who love to know what people have got booked, how much it's cost and what they're doing. Stick around and we'll give you the lowdown on our trip. I really like watching these videos, what other people do and finding like, when they share how much they've spent on flights because it gives you some perspective and context of what other people spend. So we're going for 10 days. This trip is a brand new trip, but we had loads and loads postponed because of the pandemic. So this is our first trip since February 2020. 20, just as it was all kicking off. We are flying with Virgin Atlantic. We have used Miles, so we're big fans of Miles. And I know Miles doesn't work for everyone, but for us, we are able to collect them and we use Virgin and Avios with British Airways. But this flight is all Virgin. Can you remember how many miles we used? Yeah, it was 95,000 miles each and £671 and some change for the flight each. So that is flying upper. So we're in the upper cabin going out and back. It's one of those things, once you flip, oh, the doorbell. Carl, the postman. <laughs> Look at you getting to know the postman. That, in real life, took about five minutes. Postman <laughs> Carl is lovely, as an aside. Um, he's going off to driving range and he's getting his kids' passport sorted because going away, I'm going to Dubai or somewhere in the somewhere in Europe for summer. Oh, and anyway, you're, you're about Carl's holiday. <laughs> your glasses have gone really dark. I know. <laughs> pet, 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 pet. The Frank Butchers. Anyway, we we're talking about our holiday. It was 95,000 Virgin miles. Oh, yeah. And we're miles tarts. We have a Virgin credit card. Yeah. We've got a vlog about it up there. We'll leave the details. It's a long game. You don't, you know, you start saving for miles this year. Don't expect to go on holiday with them next year. Yeah, it's a, it's, oh, man, it's, it's, it's a long benefit. Yeah. It's a long benefit. Accommodation wise, we were originally booked to stay at Animal Kingdom Lodge and Oakwater. And for previous trips. Yeah, they so got cancelled. That was going to be for 14 nights for two weeks. So when we were trying to rebook those flights, we were very stuck with availability because they're reward flights. So you can only go at certain times of the year. We've managed to find the flights, but we could only find them for 10 days. So the accommodation wise, we had Oakwater booked for 10 days. So it made sense for us to continue with Oakwater. Oakwater is a villa. Yeah, housing par apartment. Par apartments which is just near the big walmart on the 192 oh water is fantastic and we've got a three bedroom apartment this time so a little bit of extra room is it three bedroom it is three bedroom yeah it's, i don't know why you're coming along one of the questions was can you come can we get <laughs> can seats. you get in our suitcase yeah come, get in our suitcase in there have a spare room <laughs> it's a lovely place to stay it's really convenient it's not flashy we, we're not swimming pool people we don't like swimming pools um not with these man boobs we don't and, and, and the pee in the pool. <laughs> That's why he's not allowed to go. That's the real reason, because he's got a weak bladder and he can't help himself. I just, I have issues. Um, <laughs> so, oh, oh, well, it's fantastic. And we're going to stay there for the 10 days. We had no plans to stay on Disney property. We had the days banked with Oakwater and Verbo. The price of the villa is $1,308 which is just under a thousand pounds, depending on what day you use the conversion. So we booked that through the, the web, that it used to be homeaway.com. Yeah. It's Verbo, V-R-B-O. They do yeah. apartments around the world. We uh, had this booked and we had to keep pushing it back or lose the deposit. And yeah. in theory, we should probably just lost the deposit because we probably could have got cheaper accommodation elsewhere. Yeah, definitely. But we didn't expect to keep pushing it back and pushing it back. We had lots of questions about the price increases. The increase was $72 to change it. And then they didn't quite have the right dates or the right amount of days for us. So they charged us an extra $108. What we like to do, which we've said on previous chatting about holiday vlogs, is that that day you leave to oh, fly yeah. back, if you're flying back from Orlando, it's always a night flight if you're flying back to the UK. Yeah. And if you've got to be out your accommodation by 10, 11 at the latest, yeah, you then got to carry your cases around all day. We've done it. I don't like leaving my case in the car unattended. And also, if you bought chocolate and it's quite hot, it's going to melt. That's true and some story. toiletries, you don't want to be in 40 degree heat. So what we realised is actually, for the sake of spending an extra day's worth of accommodation, yeah. it then means 
we can leave our apartment at two or three in the afternoon to drive back to the airport. But that means in the morning we can go to a park, we can come back and shower. shower yeah. And then you just pack all your dirty clothes and you've got clean clothes for the flight home. So we always book our apartment for an extra day, even though we're leaving the day before. And in this case, it was $108. And I think, you know, extended checkout at other places you can pay $50 for. It's all relative. I think it's worth it having less stress on that final day and being able to go to a park is, is really, really important. We weren't going to do any, di weren't going to do any Disney accommodation. And then... David, one night. <laughs> do, do, do. Well, Ooh, shall we have a little tea? What's available? Obviously, we've not been for two years. We know the Disney perks are really depleted at the moment, but you don't get all of the benefits you used to get with a hotel and so forth. So I wasn't that bothered. And then... I don't know, just excited about going back. And we were supposed to stay at Animal Kingdom Lodge. So we had a chat and... Um, we had we, a chat after the event. <laughs> and we, I've, Here, Ian, look what I found. <laughs> I've booked one night, just one night at Animal Kingdom Lodge because we've never stayed there and we really wanted to stay there. This is really recent. This is like in the last couple of weeks. I remember like the, the 90s adverts, I think, when Animal Kingdom Lodge was first built and... Animal Kingdom Park was launched. And I just remember being, as a kid, being so excited about, like, the idea of going. And Back would try to retrofit why <laughs> and justify why is but, looking at accommodation. But it's interest. somewhere I really, really wanted to stay. And then we weren't going to get to go. And I looked at the prices of the hotels and it was cheaper than Coronado Springs. And it was more expensive than Caribbean Beach. And Animal Kingdom's on my bucket list of Disney parks to go So that's to. David's long way of saying we are staying at Animal Kingdom Lodge for yeah. one night like it's ever small. In standard room so we'll probably do like G-Co that night and go and have a nice meal and go and see the animals, go to the shop and just hang out in the bar and the room. <laughs> hang out in the shop. I'm like, what, working? Hello. <laughs> and that was, this, this was, this was a total splurge. It was £391. For one night. For one night. However, we were looking at going Universal. For, we're not doing Universal oh. on this trip. People have asked, are we doing Universal? Yeah. We have been to it before we started vlogging. We went with friends. But we've not been since 2015. And every time we go, we think, oh, there's so much for us to do already at Disney and there are other things we've planned. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it's something we can spend money on and do it as well as we'd want to do it. But we did look into it yeah. for this trip or part of this trip. And it was crazy for the, sh you know, if you're there for a long period, I'm assuming it works out more effectively and efficiently and economically. Yeah. But for the amount of time we were looking for a couple of nights. Five, six hundred pounds on top of everything else we'd already spent. And we are big fans of Universal, but we, we really love the LA one in, in Hollywood. It's got no scary rides. It's got, no, it's got no scary rides. That is one true thing. I mean, the mummy was scary before we went on it. And but, then we went on it and it wasn't scary. I think we've, we've maybe been four or five times to Hollywood Studios in LA. And it's like my favourite park. And it's, I think we... Our Universal first, Studios. Universal Studios, sorry. Our first ever trip there was, I think, best day ever we ever had together. I still have... My yeah. heart still belongs to Universal in, in yeah. California. That was like our first proper theme park day together um ever and it was just wonderful and we had the best time so so his heart belongs on the west coast for yeah. universal and he's not prepared to oh, yeah. take it out for dinner <laughs> and wine and dine it on the east coast not quite yet so yeah that, that, that may be for a future trip definitely but we've got to stay at annual kingdom lodge super excited we've been to sonar before and kadani village but we haven't done jumbo jumbo jambo house <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs> I was up so early this morning. <laughs> People don't care. People don't care. The tickets for Disney. Oh, so expensive. We aren't annual pass holders anymore. Um, and we won't be. Yeah, we're not getting annual pass when we go back. It's just far too expensive. And we have no... The other question is, what other trips have we got planned? And we'll talk about what else we're doing this year in this video. But we have no other Florida trips but, so there's no point in us getting annual passes at the moment. And we're quite happy with just a 14-day ticket. Um, For the price of seven days. So the tickets were £938 for two people for 14 days. Which, when you say it out loud, it's just mental. And with that, you don't get fast passes anymore and all of the other things. And right, Debbie Downer, I know, one sec. If you pay, if you were there for 14 days though, if you work it out on a day-to-day -day price... Yeah. If it's 400 quid for one person... You're being sensible, yeah. If you're doing it over 10 days, that's 40 quid. Um, 
where you can go for 40 quid every day if you're going for days out of the UK. That's a really good point. I've never thought about it like that. So, I mean, anyway, we're going, so there's That's no way around it. I'm really looking forward to it. In my head, I don't know if this trip is still going to happen. You know, you always have that doubt, like, it might not happen, it might not happen. But this is the most confident I felt that we're going. <laughs> I, I've not really thought about it. I know it's coming up, and it's coming up quite imminently. Mm. But I've not really thought about it because, you know, like everyone, trips have been cancelled the last two years. Currently, the last time we've been on a plane. Yeah. We don't live near an airport anymore, so we've got that whole working out how to get to the airport, which we'll come to. So yeah. in my head, I'm like, yeah, if it happens, I'll panic the night before as I do normally, and then chuck everything in a suitcase. Oh, he's so bad at packing. Like, he's the worst <laughs> packing person ever. So that's the Disney tickets. We always have a car when we go to America. We like the freedom of a car. People have really strong views on what they prefer. Like, people prefer taxis um, because, you know, they drive it day to day for work or um, they don't want to be driving on holiday or driving in America. Driving You've... in America can be scary. The first time we did it, I think you were... It was, like, it, was like, it was like wacky races. <laughs> it was. Skin. Yeah, it was like wacky races. Yeah. So, skin. <laughs> Where is your skin? Okay, carry so on. It was like wacky races. Driving America, I think, is really easy compared to the UK. Because in the UK, yeah, you get yeah. bus lanes just appears from nowhere. It's it's awful driving, in, particularly in towns. They're a bit UK. like go-karts as well. You just have to press go and stop. I mean, I left think... Left-hand that... lane for left, right-hand lane for right, <laughs> down the middle. And you don't go particularly fast anyway. So we do have a car, the car, I think everyone knows this, the car hire prices have just gone absolutely crazy. The same with, I think, Ubers and Lyfts. The the comments seem to be that they're really expensive at the moment, so. But cabs in the, when we were living in London, we could never get a cab because so many people stopped doing cabbing during the pandemic. That's Because there was no work. And so when That's it picked true. up, there was no one to drive the cab. Yeah. And it's the same for hire cars that all the companies sold or stopped they their did. leasing. Yeah, they did. So they didn't have any vehicles left. And then now it's started picking up. Supply and demand isn't there. That's my understanding. Yeah. And I forgot to book our car until January this year, last month. Even though we've had this flight booked for months and months. I was like, oh, I haven't bought the car. Our car, 10 days, intermediate SUV, £871. All in. Although I say all in, it's an extra thirty dollars for roadside assistance, which I've also paid for. So that takes it up to what nine hundred quid for mm. ten days. The most expensive car I've had for an American trip in a long, long time, and yeah. this is only a ten day trip, not even fourteen days. So, what would you normally expect to pay for a car in America pre pandemic? Six to seven hundred for a SUV type for fourteen days. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that but it is cool. what it is. With all of this stuff, there's choices to be made. We could use that money and stay on Disney property for the ten days and get Disney Transport, but then you can't nip off to the flea market or Denny's or you know without doing the taxis and all of that. It that gives still us costs money. yeah, it gives us more freedom. So it's our yeah. decision that we like the freedom of a car, and I don't want to wait for a Disney bus. And I think you see from the vlogs that we quite enjoy, you know, doing a few hours in the Disney Park in the morning and then we'll jump in the car and go and drive to a Hobby Lobby or a... Not anymore, they hate the gays. Oh, we found out not another office. person hating the gays, everyone hates oh. the gays. <laughs> it's like, all of these choices you have to make in life, it's like, they hate no the Chick-fil-A, gays. No Chick-fil-A, no Hobby Lobby. Well, no Disney, at, at apparently. Point, uh, that's, well, that's, you know, not, that's, that's, a diff that's a different vlog. And finally, the the next expense is the night at the airport. So we no longer have the convenience of jumping on a train and being 20 minutes on a train to the airport. We now live on the south coast and we have to drive up. Is that what we're doing? I don't even know what we've talked about this. <laughs> How are we getting to the airport? I don't know. It's either going to be a cab or I'm going to drive and leave the car, but electric car for 10... I don't know. I don't know. We, that we, bit, we, that we pu puzzle piece up there, top left, top right... Still to be put in the puzzle. So we are staying at a hotel we've stayed at before at Terminal 3, which is the Renaissance, uh, Renaissance Hotel. There's um, a vlog up there for it. Or if you want to see it more recently, Steph, Jim and Jimmy from Despicable 3, they stayed there oh, they before did. they flew out on the day of Storm Eunice. They did. So we'll leave a link to their vlog as well. Yeah, because that's yeah. a more recent review of that hotel. Super clean. The bar food was lovely that night. We actually stayed Christmas Eve, didn't we, at that hotel, I think? Yeah, when we flew out to Walt Disney World yeah. on Christmas Day to Miami. So we're never doing that again. <laughs> we had fish and chips in there. Spoilers, you can, you can watch this. Um, you can yeah, watch this. go check there. it out. So it's a lovely hotel. We stayed there before. We'll be staying there again. Uh, £99. Uh, which to I be fair, that's going to be probably cheaper than the cab. 
Yeah, if I, we get a cab. I thought that was all right. I, I was quite happy with that. You can stay in other more expensive hotels and there are cheaper hotels. But I think for the quality and convenience, £99, I'm quite happy with that. So that whole trip is minus getting to the airport. Oh, that was a drum roll, but premature. Nat, this looks like I'm... Invisible kangaroo. So the total trip, though, this is just mind-blowing, is... Four thousand six hundred and thirty-eight pounds. Yeah. Now, if we compare that to the trip we cancelled previously, that trip was four thousand six hundred and twenty-six pounds. So there's really there's not ten pound more expensive for this trip, but we're going for less days. Step not staying on Disney property. Not for staying Disney the property. Same amount of time. So we had lots of questions when we asked for questions about at this trip, about what the cost differences were. And actually... It's chalk and cheese. Yeah, it's, it's really not, hard it's to It's not 14 out. days, not the same property. So the price per day, this is a much more expensive holiday, I think is, is what we can say. But, but it's been two years in the making. Yeah. Again, now look, at the, I'm trying to retrofit and justify it. <laughs> <laughs> so we had lots of questions about this trip. So thank you very, very much. Lucy and Sarah asked, are you planning on using Genie Plus and using Lightning Lane. Until the other week, I'd really been hands off. Got really we, did know, we, we didn't know what it was. I did know, I'd, <laughs> we I didn't really know what it didn't was. Didn't know the though. specifics. <laughs> I mean, it, it, we used the, when we were in Disneyland, California, we used the Max Pass. Similar yeah, thing, we did. Yeah. You book something, you got you can book then every yeah. hour or two hours. Which is $15 over there at the time. The advice I've heard is don't get it for every day in advance. So book yeah, it as and when okay. you want it. I think this trip for me is going to be like going to Walt Disney World for the first time. Yeah, because I agree. the world is so different. Yeah, the transport, just how get, get getting there. You hear stories that there's not as many people working in restaurants and bars. There's a shortage yeah. of staff. Yeah. So I feel like this is going to be an eye opener of a trip for both of us this time. So I'm making no assumptions that we can do the things we've done previously. Yeah. And one of the things is the, yes, I think we'll use Genie Plus. I don't think we'll get the hang of it until halfway through the trip. <laughs> I think we'll slow. <laughs> I think we'll kick ourselves that we weren't better prepared. So yes, I think we will use it. I think potentially I will, I say I won't use Lightning Lane. We said that we went to Disneyland Paris, but there was a time we didn't want to wait yeah. for, to, to go on a ride. So I suspect there will be times and rides we will go, mm, it's only $10, $15, so it's $30 yeah. each. We'll wait up and go, we will use both of them. I feel like for Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios on a busy weekend, it will be valuable to have that and to do that i think to get on rise of resistance so we've never done rise of resistance never done no. mickey, mickey and minnie runaway railway in the last trip we're like we're not we're not getting up four to do rise of resistance we'll do <laughs> we'll that come in, back may in may 2020 <laughs> and do it never if you, if you want to do something do it i think that's what we've learned from the pandemic if you it's like if you see it in a disney store and you buy want it, it because you go um, back at two hours later it will it was sold yeah. out so I think Lightning Lane for those rides, which we've not done before and we really want to do, we will do it for the, for those. Epcot, we probably won't do it because there's not really any rides in Epcot we, we would particularly want to do desperately. But the good thing about Epcot is historically, we've not really gone around the world. Because I can't walk it. <laughs> when I look back at the two years we've not been able to go. Yeah. I feel like, oh, actually, the thing we've not done is gone around the world much. We did the pin thing. I'd like to walk around the shops, I think. Of course you do. But we could do it. I can't walk. I can walk. Yeah. Obviously, I can walk. You see me walking all the time. But I can't walk for long periods of time and I can't stand for long periods of time. If I do that in one day, then I'll be useless the next day. So Epcot has always been a no-no for me. But I think if we spent a day there and took our time and stopped for maybe lunch and, you know, broke it up like that, it might be, um, yeah, I think it might be okay. Probably don't use Genie Plus there because it's about the experience and the fireworks and we've not really seen the fireworks at Epcot before no we're there for Flower and Garden and we love Flower and Garden I do too yeah it, it, the merch is looking wonderful as well um, Danny and Jamie I've asked um, best snacks to keep them going in the parts that, well, what snacks are we looking we forward to we don't do snacks because snacks. lactose boy yeah, for one, most of them may be ill <laughs> it's a gamble so we don't do ice cream biscuits and candies and other things are also probably got dairy in and also they're so bloody big yeah. And I don't want to cart around half a snack. So normally it's a slush. 
Or... I, I love such shoes, yeah. I'd like to get a Gascar Gaston Gaston a cinnamon roll to take back to the apartment one day. I yeah. think that, that's on my list of things. We can't do. eat that in the park. That would definitely... Yeah, that would that'd be the end of the day. I'd be over with. Um, there's lots of things I avoid on holiday and don't eat on holiday. Even if I've got tablets with me or enzymes with me, I just don't bother because it's just not worth the risk, really. So I love a Casey's hot dog, though, which is probably not a snack. <laughs> <laughs> and I love a Starbucks on the way home. Um, you get the big buckets. Yeah. Big buckets. Like, like the biggest size that you don't get in the UK yeah. is bigger than that, is that you can literally baptise a baby in. And they're like lemonades and stuff on a hot day. Or really, peach tea. Yeah, really good. So um, that's what I would recommend. But, you know, Disney Food Blog is the best people to ask what's next. To have in Disney I mean, Blog. the cakes look amazing. And I love, I mean, I love a cake. But I'm looking forward to getting uh, just the white birthday cake time oh birthday you love cake. birthday cake don't you white sponge <laughs> cream jam frosting that's a true story that's my favorite so i want to go to a shop earlier on in this trip because we always go later in the trip yeah and then i bake cake and then end up throwing some of it away because even i can't eat that massive amount of cake so the next question is from barton family adventures where are you looking forward to eating at the most and what would sort of things would you like to order so on site for me it's moromoto asia at disney springs is one of my favorite restaurants oh that's good the um, um lettuce cups the lettuce cups are good the crispy duck sushi Loads and loads of great food there. We're not sure if we're going to do... What's the one in the contemporary at the top? Oh, California Grill. That's super, super expensive. But every time we've been there, we oh. always say it's the best meal we've ever had on Disney property. But I'm not sure if I can afford it. 50s Primetime Diner. Oh, 50s Primetime Diner in... Oh, it was Dairy studios. Free. Dairy Free Chicken is... Oh, and that server was so wonderful. They're supposed to be rude, aren't they? Which she wasn't. She was really nice. <laughs> Normally, crispy chicken is like buttermilk, buttermilk soaked yeah. to get it all soft and lovely. There is a dairy-free version. Yeah, which we which surprised us. It was way better than what I chose. Oh, it, yeah. So and we haven't had a chance to go back to have that, but it's bloody delicious. Yeah, as was the milk brown derby yeah. also at studios. But also that's pricey, and I'm not sure if I'm up for pricey. I think I'd rather try. If new I'm going to splash more cash. Try something oh, no, new. something fancy. I'd rather try something new because it's two years later. I love Brand Derby or Derby, sorry, in the fact that the environment is so wonderful. I love that Hollywood classic furniture and, and all of that type of stuff. So. Don't like face characters coming up, talking to you in character. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> Don't. Does really. Indigestion. <laughs> to give me a Rennie because that um, ooh, gives me a little bit of heartburn. But also when you're in the parks, you can't beat some chicken nuggets and chips, to be honest. Chlorinated American chicken. That's a way for Delicious. Uh, but also there's off offsite favourite. Bob Evans. Bob Evans. I know I know like everyone's like, what's your obsession with Bob Evans or Denny's and so forth? But we just don't have those sort of restaurants over here. It's cheap I don't and think. cheerful. Cheap and cheerful, great service, great food. Delicious. <laughs> I love it. Applebee's is awesome as well. Bonus chicken wings, really, really great. So we we always try and get to an Applebee's. And we found an Applebee's which was quieter than the one I think on the main strip. Four corners or Yeah. I want to say Heaven's Gate. It's not Heaven's Gate. That other gate place near Four Corners. Not Four Candles. That's something completely different. <laughs> Catherine has asked, uh, will you be staying at Disney Resort? And what is your favourite Disney Resort? Well, yeah, we are doing that one night Animal Kingdom. But one night. What I would like to do, something we've not done, is the monorail loop. And got off on each of the monorails and done the Polynesian and uh, the contemporary you and, and get off and do them what do you mean do them like have a walk around oh. have a drink look in the shop but we never have time <laughs> if you're looking for a quiet resort our favorite for that is coronado springs a bit windy oh sorry and we also enjoyed our stay at pop century cheaper and cheerful and we joined chris and sherry chris and sherry from nibbles and bubbles were staying oh, at caribbean beach and we had an evening there with them in the bar it's very nice cocktails and stuff yeah. that was great yeah it was really nice there. also contemporary we've driven to the contemporary to walk to the park and have dinner and then we've had drinks there as well and that's been fun yeah it has how long do you feel is a good amount of days to go we've done seven days before which, if it's your only trip that year... Oh, it's knackering. It's, it is exhausting and it's too short. If that's your only trip for that year, seven days, I think is too short. Also, that's... by day three, you need a lion. Yeah. 
You need a yeah. lion on day three. Don't plan early stuff on day three. If you're lucky enough to go more frequently, and seven days is absolutely fine, I think. And if you can get the flights and the hotel to work at a decent price, and I think that's the thing, you have to work out the price per day. Otherwise, I would say 10 to 14 days if it's trip of a lifetime. Three weeks. Four weeks. <laughs> no, three weeks, because we've already said that. For, we would love to go for three weeks. There's too much. You can't do everything at Disney and Universal in no. two weeks, if you, especially if you've not been before. And even if you have been before, we've always struggled. So like three weeks would probably it would be give amazing. you time at both and to do other parks. It's not just about Disney and Universal, Legoland, SeaWorld, all the others. And you can go to the beach, Kennedy, you've got the Kennedy Space Centre, yeah. and there's uh, iDrive and all the other yeah, stuff that we true. don't do and haven't done because we're creatures of habit. Basically one trip pony. Always Cozy and Sarah have asked tips for driving in America. Well, we've already talked about that, but also other transport. Keep on the right-hand side. <laughs> That's a good tip. I would say go watch Despicable Free talking about their latest trip and go and check out how they manage transport and how they got on with transport. Because we're not really experts in transport. We always rent a car. And what we can say is car rental works for us, but it won't work for everyone. Also, I think it depends where you're staying. If you're staying near Universal and you need to go to Disney or vice versa, or you've got other things planned for your trip, I think you need to look at, if you're staying at a hotel, do they provide shuttle buses? How will you get to where you want to go to? And I think sometimes that makes a decision for you. Historically, Lyft used to be cheaper than Uber, but I think both of those, according to vlogs we've watched recently, they're all expensive now. They're not as cheap as they were, so you need to then factor in those costs. And also, if you drive, you've got to pay for parking at the parks, unless you're an annual pass holder. So we're going to have to pay for parking $25 per day. So the extra $250 we need to put into that budget. That is true. For well, parking. That was missing, actually. That's very true. So I think it very much depends on what you want to do on your trip and where you're staying. And I think then that decision is made for you, yeah. whether it's a, you need to put a load of money aside for Ubers and lifts or you bite the bullet and drive. I don't think driving is as scary. I think when you come out of the airport for the first five minutes and you think, oh, I might take the wrong road, you might take the wrong road. But if you've got your phone plugged in with the details of where you're going, mm. it'll just take you on a loop. Many a time, I'm always doing a loop around this property. <laughs> we've, been, I've, we've been in circles I've been in times. staff car parks. <laughs> and I'm like, they, you just apologise. It's America. They're very, very accommodating. They're not as arsy as people in the UK. If you take a wrong turn. The, my big bit of advice, if you are driving in America, locals tend not to indicate, or they indicate once they've manoeuvred. Yeah. Yeah. So, are you talking about the UK? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. And no, actually, the UK, people in the UK are way better at indicating. Let's not talk about driving. This is... Well, there questions about driving. <laughs> Sorry, battery died. So that's why it might be a slightly different angle. But we were, we've been gassing for well over half an hour so far. We're, we're such pros. <laughs> Helen asks, can you do Hollywood Studios in one day? Um, I don't think you I can think it's now. A... I think it's a two-day part now. Yeah, I think just because of lines. Rise of Resistance, Smuggler's Run, Slinky Dog Dash, Tower of Terror, Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway, yeah. The Food, Inanna Jones, Frozen, Star Beauty Tours, Beast, Star Tours the, Disney Junior's Dance the thing. Ping, 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 ping. Ride in Toy Story. What's that called? Ping, 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 ping. <laughs> <laughs> you never wrote Two words. <laughs> You know what I mean. Um, Midway. Midway Mania, but it's not called that in Florida, I don't think. Ping, uh, ping, ping, ping. The one that gives you <laughs> and ache. You need to recover by, for an hour after that. So that, that in itself will take an hour out of your day because you've got yeah. hand the, ache. The main street shops in Hollywood Studios, so the, the main road, uh, Hollywood, the main drag. Uh, Hollywood Boulevard and, and so Sunset. forth. Sunset. Sunset Boulevard. Uh, absolutely great for shops. I really love those shops. So I would say it's a two-day part for me. But, At least. Yeah. Unless you, you were on it. I don't know if it's like with Genie Plus. You could just go... Or if you're staying on property so you can get your first booking at seven. Yeah, maybe. I, I, we don't know. We I'm going to say we, no. We, we but, will do it in one day. Yeah, no. Tracy Arnold has asked, will you be doing Universal on this trip? No. But like I said, we've been looking at other things to do this year. We've got companion vouchers with British Airways to use and miles. We can't get them to work for this year because we were looking at LA, we were looking at San Francisco, we looked at Nashville, New Orleans, New York. This is one of the questions <laughs> someone asked in the Facebook group this week. They're yeah. really struggling to use their Avios yeah. and Virgin miles. 
And at the moment, I, I looked at British Airways for Orlando. If I was using miles today, the earliest time I could probably get outward and a return flight within two weeks of each other, next February, February 23. Yeah. I could fly out on the 6th of October using air miles. But couldn't get back. Could until you? the 24th of December. That's yeah. the only flight back using air miles. Currently, British Airways is flying back on Christmas Eve. And you'd have to go out in October. And that's always been the way. If yeah. you use miles, you kind of have to book a year out. You yeah, need to know it's 11 your trip. months. 11 months for the... Because those reward flights go like that. They're great value if you want to fly premium or upper. I don't think they're good value to use on economy, but you'll get a very cheap economy seat. And we have got a voucher we need to use before September. So as David was saying, we were looking at other places to go because yeah. David's got a big birthday this year. No, not 50. How rude. He's 40. So, uh, <laughs> so rude. You at the back. I heard you say that. So we were looking at where we would go for David's birthday yeah. um, and we were looking at Edinburgh, we're looking at Scandinavia, other places in Europe, other places in America. We basically exhausted the whole list. We've decided that we're going to do two trips. The first one is going to be centre parks. Oh, yeah. And we're going to do centre parks in the summer. Absolutely love centre parks. Total convert over the pandemic. The two trips we've done there have just been absolutely bliss and so peaceful and so much fun. Where else can you get attacked by Canadian geese? Yeah. If you've not seen that vlog and you would like a laugh at our... (laughs) <laughs> expense then it'll be up there and downstairs the accommodation is great the people the service everything has in center parts has been great experience so we're going there for a few nights and then we are doing disneyland paris for my 40th which is october yeah it's a 30th anniversary so it seems a great time to go and we love disneyland paris we are breaking all the, our own rules while we're staying on site and all of that business but we'll Probably cover that in a bit closer when we go. So yeah, so for David's birthday, we are going to stay at the Art of the Marvel Hotel. <laughs> are we? Yeah, this is news to him. We thought he thought I booked um, Sequoia Lodge. So what? Yeah, we're staying at Art of Marvel for the. Are you going, being serious? I'm being absolutely serious. It's on camera. We're going on the Sunday to the Wednesday. We're staying at Art of Marvel Hotel, which is oh, why I said I didn't, didn't have the booking <laughs> details because I thought you'd be like, I need the booking details to add it to the app. I'm like, you can't know until. I make this announcement. Aww. On your side, we're going premium Aww. because a bit more room for us. Aww. Our train's on the Sunday. We travel up to London on the Saturday. And then on the Saturday night, it's um, we're going to see... What's your second favourite Harry Potter film? Second favourite Harry Potter film? Well, the first one is... Prisoner of Azkaban. Yeah. Your second favourite? Is... Um... You've caught me really off guard. Good. <laughs> Cry. Cry. This is what they want. <laughs> Second favourite Harry Potter film? Uh, or, uh, not Order of the Phoenix, the um, one with the games and the egg and... Um, That's... What are we going to see? What's your third favourite Harry Potter film? Half-Blood Prince. Half-Blood Prince. Yes, that one. So that one, they're doing live orchestration at the Royal Albert Hall on the Saturday night. No. Yeah, so we're travelling to London on the Saturday, checking into our hotel at St Pancras. Saturday night we've got live orchestration of your third favourite Harry Potter film, Prisoner of Azkaban. Oh no, Half-Blood Prince. Live orchestration at Royal Albert Hall, back to the hotel, early start Sunday, get on the Eurostar, straight to Disneyland Paris, staying at Art of Marvel. Oh my gosh, okay. I didn't know it. You heard it here first, so did he. Okay. Thank you. Awkward. Or playing with the battery. (laughs) (laughs) Where were we? Um, Thank you very much. Love you. Cheers. Love you too. Well, so random. Awkward segue. (laughs) Karen asks, any particular merchandise looking to buy? So... Moving house was a bit of a revelation. I have a lot of Disney merch. So on this trip, I am going to be restrained. I was restrained on our last trip as well, actually, because we already started to sell the house or think about packing and so forth. I'm not going to buy so many pins or Funkos and all that type of stuff. But if there's stuff relating to a 50th, which I think is particularly nice, I'm definitely going to get some 50th merch. My Disney hat, my baseball cap, you know, is fine me left the scene so I need to no it wasn't I need a new baseball cap (laughs) but other than that I don't think I'm gonna go crazy I just like looking at merch I've deliberately not looked at vlogs to see merch because I kind of want to see it there yeah be interesting to see what they got I don't have anything in mind yeah it's always a fun mooch around the shops the barge board asks which videos are most fun to make which videos are you most proud of I won't say I'm proud of any of them I'm just proud of Rude. The fact that our confidence has grown and we care less what people think, maybe. I never really cared. 
what you think of me is none of my business. Yeah, I don't care what people think anymore. I probably did in that first videos or the first few videos. When we, you can definitely tell in the first series, we were very conscious of leaving stuff in that... Might cause offence, I think. Yeah, and now if there's nothing I can do about that unless yeah. I just don't ever talk. I'm proud of that very first series because we put a lot of time trying to get things right. I mean, some of the episodes are a bit flabby, maybe. We still put in a lot of time in the video. We film a lot. Yeah. But we try and make it 20-ish minutes because we recognise people have got other things to do with their life. I appreciate the house ones are very long. Disney ones, we try and do about 20 minutes. Half an hour, maybe. Yeah, at a push. I am proud of the channel and I'm proud of the content we put out. And I'm proud that collectively it's, I think, amazing catalogue for us to look back on. I watch our vlogs every so often and just be like, oh my days, how did we live in that flat <laughs> for so long with so much stuff and the noise and all of those things. During the pandemic, it gave us something to do. I think we were quite panicked when the 2020 series ended and we're like, what do we do now? Because we're supposed to be going back in May, that got cancelled. And we thought, we can probably stretch yeah. it to August when we're going back. And then that got cancelled. And then we made the decision, okay, well, we're at home, let's just see if we do home stuff. And weirdly, yeah. people liked it. And thank you for coming on that road with yeah. us. And it still amazes me that people actually do care what we get up to. And it was more about, we, we really enjoy doing this. Like it's a really great hobby. So it was like, how do we keep our hobby going? Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for all your questions you have asked. If we haven't answered your question, it might be because it didn't quite relate to this trip. And if we haven't, ask it as again, and we'll ask it on social media for sure. We hope it's been useful. If yeah. you've been recently or you're going soon, any tips you've got, please put them below. We really appreciate them. And also appreciate you watching. Thank you for watching this very long vlog. Bye. Bye-bye.